So hi, my name is Duarte. We are here today at CTE. Uh, we are going to make uh, the install uh, of the LS300 in the car mount and we are going to scan this area, this building area. So I'm starting to install the LS300 in the car mount like this. So we have the mount car already installed, uh, so as you can see the, co the configuration that we have to, to put in order to, to make the, the output data of the, of the GNSS, serial port, restart receiver continuous output, we put it on and we will work the output message only in GGA at 10 Hz all the, the others we have to disconnect we press OK we don't need to disconnect so here we can see that uh, we are already connected to the device by Wi-Fi um, We press on scan, we have to wait uh, 10 seconds. We can see also that the RTK is already fixed. Now we wait 10 seconds for the initial initialization. And keep in mind that uh, for a good uh, scanning, we should not uh, exceed the 20 kilometers per hour. Now we can see that it's already scanning and uh, now we drive and uh, we are scanning at the moment here you can see the the cloud being generated So as the car advances, the cloud, the cloud, the cloud point is going to be generated. Millions of points are being record, recorded right now. So as you can see, the scanning. We have all the buildings that are appearing, slowly appearing and even the, the road and the cars. So this is really good, this, this preview, because we can have an, an idea of what we already scanned and what, is, what there is to scan also. If we can see in the preview that there is any holes or any areas that we didn't scan, we can pass by one other time. So, as you can see, we already have, uh, we already did the, the tour to the, the building site. And uh, we are now getting close to the starting point. We should always uh, end at the starting point, so the cloud point has a good connection. So, so our so our uh, scanning doesn't get uh, lost. So here we can see that we are closing in the starting point. It's always good to doing the overlap in the starting uh, point, in the starting area. Okay, we have started scanning, we have uh, ended the scanning, and uh, now the camera data is going is downloading to the device. So we 
already scanned the area that we wanted to. Now we have to do the download and the processing of the data. So we go here to data process, color video synthesis, and here we will see the data that was that was made by the camera. So we synthesize. Okay, we have done it. Now we get to scan data solver. And here you can see the data that we need to process. Here we have to do some configurations. We have to be sure that the RTK antenna height is at this height. Process mode we can leave it at standard. Scan mode it's important to to select the vehicle mounted. Okay. Okay, so we are set to go. As you can see, it already started processing. As you can see, the, the main advantage that this device has is we don't need to wait to get the, the data into a computer to process. Because this here is already a very strong computer with a very strong CPU that is made, me, that is made only for su su the processing of this type of data. So we can scan it and right at the moment uh, we can process it also. So when we see that the processing is done, is it's over, we go back and we get to data browse. In the data browse we can access the result data or the original data. The original data it's for uh, if you want to process the data in your computer. If you want the data already processed, you come to result data, you select and you will export.